Hi, this is Simon with iCureRef. Based on the previous tutorials, you should be able to create an iCureRef network and control it locally from the iCureRef IDE or remotely from your website through the iCureRef cloud. This video will demonstrate how you can use the custom DPA handler to modify functionality of the iCureRef data control transceivers. On the beginning, let me clarify one thing. If you work with iCurf transceivers, you need to program your application in the C language based on the examples in the startup package. Another option is to work with iCurf data control transceivers and in this case you can use predefined peripherals without any programming right away. The custom DPA handler then provides you with full flexibility in modifying the predefined peripherals or creating your own ones based on your specific needs. Now let me show you how to work with this powerful tool using one of many examples in the startup package. We have our network and the demo hardware profile project ready based on the network setup tutorial. We use the development set DSDPA01 with one coordinator and five nodes. We need to upload a custom DPA handler example and we do it with clicking the right button on the source and hitting add existing item. Here we find the custom DPA handler examples and we select the example user peripheral. In order to understand the custom handler application, we double click on the C file and the source code gets opened. Let me now highlight the key lines of the code. As you can read here, starting on the line 16, we will create a new LED peripheral that will control both red and green LED simultaneously. Then there is an important note that this particular custom DPA handler will not work with the demo hardware profiles because the demo hardware profiles don't support other user peripheral commands than the command number 0. This means we will need to upload general hardware profiles into our data control transceivers. Then, besides the iCurf and DPA include links, we need to define if this handler is for a node or for a coordinator. In the case it's for a coordinator, you need to uncomment the line 25. Starting on the line 49, we implement one user peripheral with the hardware profile in the user area, that means hardware profile number 0101. Then we define further information regarding the peripheral such as peripheral number. User peripherals start from number 20, so that's the one we will use. Then we check if the DPA request is for the right peripheral, if there are no data in the command, and what should happen if this is not OK. Then we set up how the commands should be processed, how to switch the LEDs on, how to switch them off, how to pulse them, and how to get a state. And that's it. We save this file with Ctrl S and we go back to the IDE. We need to compile the source code and this could be done by hitting F10 or this button. Now we have the hex file ready for an upload. As we read in the source code, we cannot use the demo hardware profiles with this custom DPA handler, so we need to download them from the internet. We go to the iCurve.org, then to the download section, and here under the DCTRs you find the general hardware profile zip file. You download and unzip it to the DPA file of your startup package. We go back to the IDE, hit the right button on the plugins and select add existing items. Here we find the general hardware profiles and open the coordinator SPI and the node SPI general hardware profile plugins. You can see that the files were added to your plugin list. The last thing we have to get prepared is the TR configuration. We double click here we open the TR configuration window and we go to the hardware profiles. The only but very important thing we need to do here is to tick this checkbox to make our custom DPA handler routine called. Now we need to get all our files uploaded to our modules. Let's start with the nodes. We make sure that the custom handler hex file, the node general hardware profile and the TR configuration are selected for an upload. We plug one node transceiver after the other to the programmer and hitting F5 we upload all selected files. Once we have it done for all nodes, we deselect the custom handler hex file, the node general hardware profile and the TR configuration. We select the coordinator general hardware profile and upload it to the coordinator transceiver. If you had your network bonded and discovered already, you will see that you don't have to rebond and rediscover it again. You can double check this clicking on the refresh button on the iCommesh network manager. Now let's test it. We go to the terminal and we prepare the DPA request to be sent out. Let's say we want to control all of the nodes so we send a broadcast command with FF. As you remember, our new peripheral is number 20, so that's what we fill in here. To switch the LEDs on, we send the command 01. 
We can select the hardware profile FFFF, meaning the command is addressed to devices with all hardware profiles, or we can select the user hardware profile 0101. We send out the command and we can observe everything is working perfectly. Now we can switch the LEDs off with the command double zero. Another command we have available is to flash the LEDs with the command 03. To see a list of all peripherals you have available on each module, you can go to the table view of the iCommerce Network Manager, select Get Enumeration and hit this button to get the operation started. As you can observe, the enumeration even of this small network takes some time and in a case of a network with tens or even hundreds of nodes, you have to count that this process can take tens of minutes pretty easily. When the enumeration is completed, you can see the basic information about each node in this chart. In the case you want to learn more about a particular node, you can click on this small plus and the full TR configuration overview will get opened. You can find here all the details regarding the configuration of this node and available peripherals. At the very end you will see the user peripheral number 20 we created together. So. Now it's just up to you if you control your wireless products with the predefined peripherals or if you create your own ones. With the iCRF data control transceivers you can do both. If you have any questions please get in touch with our technical support. Our experts will make sure your wireless integration is really simple. This video is just a small piece of a complete iCRF video tutorial set. To get a full picture and understanding of the iCRF technology Please watch previous and following iCurve tutorials.